So welcome to the part two of J shell. Now in the part one, we have talked about a list command. We have talked about edit and set feedback. In fact, we have also seen different way you can, I mean, you can create a variable, you can create a method and you can call the methods. Now in this video, we'll try to explore more on those, I mean, on in terms of commands and in terms of statements. So what we'll do now is let's create something called a string. Now let's say if I want to define a string variable, now what normally we do is we say str and then we complete the statement, right? But what if you want a shortcut? Now if you remember, if you use any IDE like Eclipse or IntelliJ or NetBeans, we get auto completion, right? Is it possible to get, a, get that here? Now it is possible. So if, if you type str, if you say tab, you can see it gives you the suggestions what you can go for. Okay, you can go for string, you can go for string builder, you can go for string reader, you can go for string writer. So there are lots of classes available for this. I want I want a string here. So I will say string and I will say s. Now this is not exactly a code completion. This is a suggestion you can say. So if I say string s equal to and if you assign a value, let's say Naveen and if I say enter, you can see we got a variable Naveen and we got a string as well. So you can see we got created variable s equal to string, right? So what you get is these suggestions. But what if you, what if you want a documentation? Something like this, if I say string and if I say tab, you can see we got uh, other options with string. But if I say again a tab here, you can see we got the entire documentation for string. So if you want to know about a class, what you can do is just type the name of a class or whatever, a keyword or something, you will get the, the documentation for that. Now string belongs to lang package, right? So you can see we have the entire definition available here. Right. So, so remember this, if you say single tab, it will give you suggestions. If you give double tab, it will give you a uh, documentation. And this is, this is awesome, right? So if you're learning Java for the first time, it will be very helpful when you, when you do something like this. Okay. That makes sense. So we can, we can use string. In fact, we can print the variable as well. So in fact, if I say you, you can see we got the variable, we got S and it has a value, which is Naveen. Okay, now question arise, can we, can we redefine the variable? Example, if I already declare the variable, if I say string s now with a different value. So I'm not just changing the value, I'm changing the, I, I'm creating a new variable. Can we do that? Uh, let's say if I use a variable name here as Anna. So what do you think? Uh, will it work? And the answer is, if you, if you see that, you can see it says uh, modified variable s string. So you can see it is modifying the, uh, the variable right uh, let's do the same thing with int variable is it possible so let's say int i equal to 9 and if i say int i equal to 3 and you can see it is modified so it is it will not give you any other error that you have already used this variable right so you, and we have created so many variables right what if you want to see all the variables which we have used till now so don't worry we have a command for that as well so we got var uh, is it vas is it vas yeah so it is v a r s you can simply use a tab there to complete it and if I say enter, you can see we got the entire list here. Uh, so this is the this is the uh, these are the variables which we have uh, created till now. So you can see we got age, we got s, we got uh, this j here. So we have created all these variables for our use, right? In fact, uh, can we see methods? And you're right, we can also use methods as a thing. In fact, you can simply type m. E T H and you can say tab, it will auto complete for you. And if I say enter, you can see we got two methods. We got show and display. This is what we have created till now. Oh, so we can create variables, we can create methods. We have not created the class yet. Is it possible to create your own class? Uh, I will give you two seconds to think about it. So think about it. Can we get a class? Uh, and the answer is yes. Let's try this. So if I say class and I will name this class as a runner. So we have a class runner here, or maybe if I have a class alien, because you all are aliens, right? So if I create a, create a class called as alien, if I open the brackets and you can see it works, it is giving you an option to do something. So I will say public void um, alien work, we work, I don't know. So if I say enter and if I define something here, system.out.println and if I say um, what working, I mean, you can type anything you want and I load the statement of what? No. Okay, I lost the statement. So, okay, so instead of typing int i equal to one, I, I will say int i equal to nine, doesn't matter. We just want to define some class, right? And we are doing that here. And you can see we got our class. We got a class called as alien. Okay, now that's possible. We can get a class as well. Now, can I, can I, 
uh, call this class I mean can I create an object of this class let's try so if I say alien a equal to new alien and it does work can you see that it does work so we got alien a equal to new alien so it works so you can you can create a class you can create an object and you can practice Java like this right uh, I don't know about the different uses for JShell, but then as a trainer, it will be very helpful for me. So when I go for the training next time, I will surely use a JShell for my training. I mean, I, try, I will try to do that. <laughs> I need to still explore how ex efficiently I can teach uh, Java in JShell. Because we need some other experience as well, right? Uh, some way, some flow. Let's see how it works. So yeah, so we can create, uh, we can create a class, we can create an object of that. Uh, what if I try to create an object of a class which doesn't even exist? Example, let's say if I create an object of a class which is maybe uh, maybe human. So let's say I don't have a class human available, but still if I do that, if I say human obj equal to new human, and if I try to do that, uh, if I say enter, oh, it is giving you an error. You cannot do that. Okay, can I define a reference? Because of course, right, we don't have the object yet. Or we don't have a class yet. But if I say human obj, oh, you can create a variable but you cannot create the object because we require a constructor right but you can see we can create a variable the only thing it says is uh, you can create a variable but however it cannot be referenced until class human is de declared so same thing right it is future ref uh, forward reference so you can create a you can create a reference but then you need a a class to make it work so yes you can create a class now and it will it will work for sure so you can use this obj object or obj reference that sounds good. Okay, now we also have one more command called as history. Let's see. Let's see what happens when you type history here. And if I say enter, it gives you all the com all the things which you have typed till now. You can see we got all the commands, all the statements. So it will give you the entire history, and that is awesome. Okay, now there's one more thing. Do we? Is it compulsory to write the entire stuff? Can I simply say slash h? Uh, no, because slash h is ambiguous. It says either history or help. So what we can do is we can say h i. So we don't have to actually complete. We can actually type hi. Yeah, it will detect that it is history, right? The same thing is possible with list. So if you, can, if you simply type slash l, it will give you list. The same thing is happening with exit. So if I simply say x, oh no, x not x, e. No, even e is ambiguous, so it will say e x, exit. So yeah, so if, it do, if you want to use uh, shortcuts, you can do that, right? And most of the time you have to type something and you will learn on the way, right? The way I did now. I was not, I, I, I was, I thought it will be X, but then it is EX, but that's fine. So yeah, so you can use shell like this. You can type all the commands which you want. Okay, now what else we can do? Um, let me think. Now, can I, can I, can I create object of scanner class? Because see, when you use scanner class in normal Java, we need to import the package, right? Because see, if we talk about uh, system class, string class, those belongs to the lang package. And we all know that lang package is something which by default gets imported. What about what about uh, util, util package? Because scanner class belongs to util. Let's try that. So if I say a scanner sc, okay, I will not, uh, okay, I will say a new scanner. And if I say scanner, uh, okay, system dot n, that's how you create object of scanner, right? And if I say enter, oh, it worked. Can you see that there's no error? Uh, it says java.util.scanner. That means the util package is by default imported. And that's awesome, right? So you can work with any class. By default, all the classes are imported. Okay, uh, so let me try one more. Uh, what if you go for java.sql package? Because it, uh, if you talk about the statement class, uh, so what we'll do is we'll say statement, or maybe some other, some other, some other thing. Maybe in RMI remote. So if I say remote R, because remote is a package, right? So we'll say, but then, uh, okay, let's, let's go for statement. Let's go for sql package. So we'll say statement s, and if I say enter, oh, it says statement opt. So it is it is creating a new variable and it is asking me to create a class called a statement. But no, statement is a it's an interface which is pre pre built in my uh, in my in in, in Java SQL, right? It's not working. That means all the packages are not default imported. You have to import some package by yourself. But how would you know what are the packages which are already imported? So what we'll do is we'll say imports. Now this will show what are the packages which are by default imported. You can see we got IO package imported, uh, math is imported, net, uh, neo package, util package. So all these packages are imported, right? By default, you don't have to import them. Uh, but if you want to work with SQL, then of course you have to say import 
and java.sql.star. Now you are importing uh, the Java package. Okay, so now if I say statement, so you can see that it is saying that updated replace variable s now. So if I say s, uh, you can see it is null, but it what it works now. They know that s belongs to statement, right? So that's how you can work with. That's how you can import the packages. You can know the already imports, right? So if you, if I just want to list down the uh, commands here, so we have import, we have set, uh, so we have list to list all the uh, list to list all the uh, things we have we have done. Uh, we also have history, right? History will actually give you the history. Okay, but list will give you the in the ID IDs for that. Uh, edit will help you to edit something uh, with the with the ID of course. We have import. Uh, we, have, we have history. What else we have? Uh, okay. What what else we have? See, we have help, right? So you can, you can explore all these commands by yourself and try it out. Uh, so this is available for you. So try it out and what else? So that's it from this video. We have talked about uh, different stuff. Um, let's see. In the next video, I will try to make something extra with JShell. Thank you so much for watching.